The constant flow of killings continues at shockingly high levels, with more than 5,000 killings documented every month since last July, including a total of just under 27,000 new killings since December 2012. Unfortunately, as the study indicates, this is most likely a minimum casualty figure. The true number of those killed is potentially much higher. This extremely high rate of killings month after month reflects the drastically deteriorating pattern of the conflict over the past year, as clearly indicated in the latest report of the Commission of Inquiry on Syria, civilians are bearing the brunt of widespread violent and often indiscriminate attacks, which are devastating whole swathes of major towns and cities, as well as outlying villages. Government forces are shelling and launching aerial attacks on urban areas day in and day out, and are also using strategic missiles and cluster and thermobaric bombs. Opposition forces have also shelled residential areas, albeit using less firepower, and there have been multiple bombings resulting in casualties in the heart of cities, especially Damascus. The killings of close to 7,055 minors, including at least 1,729 children under 10 years old, have been documented. There are also well-documented cases of individual children being tortured and executed, and entire families, including babies, being massacred, which, along with this devastatingly high death toll, is a terrible reminder of just how vicious this conflict has become. I urge the parties to declare an immediate ceasefire before tens of thousands more people are killed or injured. Nobody is gaining anything from this senseless carnage. And states with influence could, if they act collectively, do a lot more to bring the conflict to a swift end, thereby saving countless more lives. The only answer is a negotiated political solution. Tragically, shamefully, nothing will restore the 93,000 or more individual lives already lost.